Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be doing a journal flip through video. This is a writing journal that I have designed. Uh, I absolutely love designing uh, writing journals especially in the past year because it has given me a lot of uh, creative freedom and a lot of, uh, I've explored a lot of fun ways to include uh, writing while still having fun things in the journal and i have a lot of fun creating these and i feel i have found my niche of you know what my own style is so these journals are absolutely a reflection of me as a crafter as an artist so all the more the writing books are like really really special to me so uh for the cover uh, this is a hardcover book and it is nine by six and a half inches this was supposed to have 160 pages but it has definitely a lot more as you can see it's really full uh, but i wanted to incorporate everything that i uh, liked because i pull out a bunch of stuff and then i start putting it in the books while when i make them and i usually uh, you know don't don't keep to a specific number of pages i mean it's always a little bit more than what i intend to be okay so for the cover i have done this beautiful decoupage there are butterflies here and there and as you might have noticed uh, pastels are my love recently i have i'm loving painting and using pastels a lot on my covers and the cover is hand painted there is texture here and again some decoupage butterflies the entire cover has been sealed uh, with varnishes and sealers okay so i'll show you the charms there are a lot of buttons on the charms as well like on this one here so this is a really pretty button. I got a bunch of these and I'm like running out of this particular design. I got a lot of these in uh, a recent, you know, craft splurge. <laughs> I kept the beads happy and, you know, chirpy. The colors of the beads are mostly whites, blues, pinks, yellows, purples. I went eclectic in terms of colors. There's a tulip charm right here. It's a small tulip. And then this is a coat button and there's a small umbrella right here and what else oh yes there's a vintage coin right here this is a little celestial themed and this says live your dream and there is one more yes this the coca-cola bottle cap so nice cute little beads this adorable little bead if you've seen my instagram stories lately i've shown a bunch of my uh, charms there i have a lot of fun eclectic <laughs> stuff i keep collecting charms it's, it's a weakness okay so on the inside uh, this beautiful inside cover is a recycled wallpaper i would say i found uh, a book of wallpapers that was going to be thrown out but then i rescued it and now i'm using them so that's that and most of the pattern papers uh, i've used like this one this is from dress my craft so there's a flower right here beautiful paper all right so this is what the first page looks like on the inside and before uh, i go through i just want to say that I've used, uh, recycled some of the uh, pages from a planner that I was gifted in 2019. I had never used it and I was not a planner person by then. And now that I've used my 2021 planner, a lot of it is blank and I'm definitely going to be using those pages again because uh, why waste, you know, especially uh, patterns like this so beautiful i felt they deserved a home <laughs> okay so opening it there's a pocket right here and this is a cabinet by little bindy in case you're interested and there's a pocket right here this says love the little things 
and there is a journaling card right here there's a pocket with a journaling another journaling card stuck inside and there is a full size pocket with this journaling card where you can write front and back so i have created a lot of space like a lot of space for you to write in this journal and okay so so this was the month page and I have, I hit the uh, month or the time and then you can probably write your goals or if you don't want to use it as a month page, you can just simply write. Then uh, another pattern page with this journaling card, journaling card and then this opens up like this the camera is not focusing today, I don't know what's wrong with it. This goes back. Then another pocket here with these tags. And you can write behind such tags. This in itself is a journaling card. Then there is a journaling card here. And this is a pocket. So this has this fold out. And you can write on front and back. then another pocket so I love such journaling cards with definitions and stuff so this beautiful vintage floral tag and then another tag right here you can use the back side which is white to write then more pattern papers there's a tuck spot right here some pages of this month include uh, pages like this goals of the month and important seeds to bloom then this is a tuck spot, writing space, writing space. There's a card and this is a vintage rent receipt that I had. Some quotes here and there. Like I said, there is a lot of yoga and mindfulness uh, is the theme that I have uh, kept throughout the journey. So journaling card to write you can write here you can write here you can write here tuck spot space to write there's a journaling card inside so here i have created a tuck spot again and throughout the journal there are these uh, inspirational cards so journaling card to write here then you open this up and there's space to write here space to write here and then there is a journaling card which has this adorable little teapot this cute little teapot right here and there is a button on the card this goes inside so there's another tuck spot with a journaling card and this is a book from, this is a page from a children's book and there is space to write here. This, this says get plenty of sleep too. <laughs> okay, uh, I've included uh, this traditional bookmark. I think this is at least 10 years old if I'm not wrong, maybe more. I got it on one of my trips to a book fair that happens in Delhi in the winters. It's going to happen now, I think, uh, somewhere in November. So I've included that. And another pocket here. This says lists. Writing pages. Then this space to write here on this page. And then I've created a pocket with this journaling card which says your energy is mesmerizing and there's a pocket right here so all of these you can write behind them because there is blank space so next page there's a tuck spot right here with this journaling card Yeah, that's 
the light is better now okay so and I used a washi tape here to put this together so this opens up like so and the tape goes back then this says I'm ready for success and happiness in every area of my life. So I'm thankful for, I'm thankful for and then you know they'll start a new week with a grateful heart. So these are pages that I felt that they were useful in the journal as well. This says end of the week reflections, weekly expenses, dreams for the next week. And on this page this opens up like so. There's a pocket with this journaling card and there's a pocket behind it I kind of went crazy you know creating pockets for this book so many hidden spots this space okay so now that's inside this space to write here also and space to write here so moving on this is the second signature it's focusing yes all right so there's a pocket right here with this journaling card come on so you can write behind it then i just decorated the edge with a pom-pom trim and okay how is this okay yes so this open <laughs> there is a secret space right here there's a pocket right here and like this comes out there's a pocket right here with this beautiful tag you can write behind it okay and there is space to write here and there is space to write here and then there is a full size pocket right behind it and a card which says happiness is everywhere when we look for it happiness is me oh and this has a buddha charm yes this has a buddha charm and this adorable little button with this buddha charm So on this page, there are a bunch of pages that I have stapled and pasted together. So this space to write. On the back side of it, there is a pocket with a journaling card and you can write. The pocket is made with a writing paper. So it folds out like this. So there's a pocket right here with this yoga journaling card. and pocket another one of those planner pages then another pocket with this journaling card to-do list you can make here make sure the sun shines on your to-do list <laughs> then space to write space to write on this tab it says find the joy in the ordinary okay so another pocket with some journaling cards this says this has an inspirational quote on it which says there is always one moment in childhood when the door opens and lets the future in another journaling card tucked right here and then there is a label right here for writing inside this cute little pocket writing space writing pages more pattern papers for writing then this says today was beautiful another writing journaling card another pocket for the journaling card then notes when your life speaks take good notes so 
so this is a monthly reflections page from that planner so i added that also this says grounded so moving on there is space to write here and this is a this is a refrigerator right so this opens like this and you can write here and there is a journaling card with an inspirational quote from Rabindranath Tagore it says if I can't make it through one door I'll make it through another door or I'll make a door something terrific will come no matter how dark the present that's kind of the you know purpose of this journal to inspire you so another pocket Exploring these pockets now that I'm doing the flip through is making me want to count the number. I should know how, how many I made. Okay, so this is a full size pocket right here, which has this beautiful, like beautiful envelope. I don't know how long I've been holding this paper. I just could not use it. But then in this journal, I've made use of two such on, uh, you know, papers to make envelopes, which have these beautiful journaling cards. And this is a journaling card with a prompt which says, Who am I? All about me. <clears throat> so this goes back here. And this has a pocket with another journaling card right here. So on pages like this, you can write directly. So this is a charm. Uh, the person for whom I've made this journal, she is a counselor and a therapist. And that's why I just saw the hand and I added this because I knew that she's the one, you know, extending the hand to others for helping them out. She's doing such good work. So this is her hand <laughs> extended out to people to help them. So there's a full size pocket right here with this beautiful, beautiful journaling card. Some things always find homes in some specific journals, I feel, especially in writing journals. So there is a space to write here. How does this open? Yes, this opens up like this. Then there is a pocket right here with a journaling card here and another journaling card here. This says dream big. Okay. And then there is space to write here and once you close this okay so there is a pocket right here with this journaling card and you can write here also <clears throat> so what are you guys doing these days are you finding working from home easy what what is happening with you people we are still uh, in our hometown and the weather is now as most of the places it, it's changing and when i was younger and i find this very silly i, I didn't know that new zealand and australia did not have uh, winters when we have them they have winters the opposite side of the season from us so when my friend moved to new zealand that's how i got to know that they have summers in uh, december so it's always like the opposite weathers for us so this is a fold out from johanna and this opens up like this another pocket right here i love this page I love the winters that are going to come now. I have the power and freedom to manifest the life that I dream of. Beautiful. Then again, this page. Love this. And another pocket right here. Another flip out right here. And this also flips up. And there is space to write here. There is space to write here. So... The weather has started changing in, in Delhi itself. It's 
quite nice most of the day now it's not as hot as it was not as humid as it was then this opens up like this and this card says yoga this is another John Link card this is another pocket and this has this adorable table doily so this is actually a4 size and it opens up like this so you can use this part to write <coughs> sorry it looks beautiful you know something written right in the middle of such beautiful cut work and this thing So a journaling card that I've just stuck on with a U clip. Then oh I love this. This is one of the uh, fold outs, you know, that I love from Vienna shop. And there's a pocket right here. And a full size pocket right here. And this has a journaling card which says dreams for the future. Moving on, so this has another one of those uh, pom pom trims. So this opens up like so, and there is a full size pocket right behind it, which has this celestial themed old paper. So you can use the back side to write. I have uh, a journal with a lot of pockets for myself and I love it. I love having, you know, nooks and crannies with, with stuff, you know, already crammed into them for me to write. I absolutely love it. That's kind of how I uh, found this style also. Because many a times what happened with me was that I... Many times what happened with me was that I used to just write my thoughts and my ideas or my feelings on a piece of paper and then I used to think of ways how I can add it without, you know, directly pasting it. So that's how the whole pocket love started. <laughs> so a journaling card with this meditation, it says, and then another writing page. Pattern papers and then this is a pocket with this journaling card and this has a tuck spot right here which has another one of those journaling cards. Something is wrong with the camera. It just goes out of focus. And this says spiritual. So this folds up down like this and this folds sideways like this end of the week reflection pages i feel happy and free space to write here sometimes i feel it, it, these big videos become a lot like they are really long but then i do want to show you what i have done on each page because almost every single page has some details something you know where i want to show you Doilies pasted, then this journaling card right here in this pocket. Oh, this cute little duck spot with a lace, this thing. <clears throat> then this has a belly band with this journaling card. This is so fun. Just see what I have done here. This flips open like this. This space to right here, space to right here. And this one opens up both of them like so and when you close it it goes to the same design like the crease i have matched it perfectly then on this side there is a pocket here pocket here and a bunch of extra spaces to write and on top of it there is a full-size pocket behind it <laughs> so 
so this has a journaling card with a prompt what inspires me and there is a button on the tab focus okay button on the tab this light bulb and this beads on the tangles pocket right here then full size pocket here and this has another one of these journaling cards which has a gratitude prompt what am i grateful for and pocket here journaling card here and another spot another pocket and another pocket right here another pocket right here so this has this journaling card which has this fold down and this folds out like this this tuck spot right here and there is a full size pocket right behind it which has this beautiful pattern paper So goals of the month page, then this blanket fold out. Just see how beautiful this journaling card is. This is by Anity Bloom. And the space to write here, here, another tuck spot. Oh, this is a journaling card, sorry. This month I am attracting in my life my intentions and agendas for this month. So I added a little graphic here. I'm really, really, really happy with this journal. I can't tell you guys. It's super fun. And I'm running out of my own journal as well. Like the writing journal i was working in is almost full it would probably last me like the end of this year and uh, my creative journaling not that i'm doing much of it these days but it is also almost full so my aim is to finish both these journals by the end of the year and make myself two new ones one for writing which will be like this definitely i have some very special papers that i hold for myself <laughs> because as much as i like making uh, beautiful things for you guys i love to keep them for myself also i'm a big hoarder i mean you would be surprised at my stash and the stuff that i've had for years and years that you know i, I never knew that i would be able to use in journals but i'm now uh, using it in journals also so this book page is from uh, another book children's book this says take a mental health day now and then and since like i told you she is a therapist so i've added this paper which clearly reflects her like you know profession and her as a person so if you remove this this folds up space to write this has a full size pocket which has this medallion has destiny engraved on it <clears throat> took me a long time to make this book honestly because I was not able to uh, feel satisfied enough that you know the book was done I kept adding and adding and adding stuff and in all honesty I had to remove some pages because uh, it was getting too much I, I could not fit it into the journal anymore so I had to remove a bunch of pages at the end so this folds down like this. This is the last signature and beautiful journaling card. There's a pocket right here. 
I have some things that in the works that I don't really want to talk about right now. This is a wristwatch. But I have some super exciting stuff that I'm working on and I'm really, really hoping to, you know, uh, get to it by the end of the year. But I am a serial procrastinator, my mindfulness. And let's see. <laughs> um, it, it takes things a lot of, you know, time to make me happy like I, I don't get I don't feel finished like I said with this journal it, it took me a really long time to do this but I'm super happy like I'm super happy with the way it turned out it, when I start working on whenever I start working on a journal I always have a vision for it I have some ideas for it and when it all finally comes together and in this case it came together better than I thought it would that's the point where you know you feel that creative satisfaction that is beyond any any thing in the world oh. I love this. Beauty is something I very much aim for when I'm making these journals. They have to be beautiful. They have to inspire you. You should want to pick them up and write in them. Journaling is a tool that I very much stand by. I have benefited immensely from it immensely i can't even tell you how much and it was here yeah journaling has got me through some very dark times in my own life and even if you're not going through a hard time journaling is something that will definitely give you focus it, it makes room in your you know headspace to give you that bandwidth to think and to do other stuff we talk a lot about uh of this on my instagram like on my stories and a couple of days before i did uh i did a post uh, i did a story on uh morning pages so i got a bunch of questions and then i answered those as well what morning pages are and how do you do them in case you guys are interested do follow me on instagram i do share a lot of stuff especially from uh, my own life overall my creative journey and my journey as a person my life there so if you guys want to know a little bit more about me do follow me on instagram as well so this is it for this journey as always it was a long video <laughs> Thank you so much if you have stayed with me till the end and if you have any questions just uh, drop me a comment and I will get back to you and I hope you guys have a happy day ahead. Bye.